going? My name's Jose. I was uh, your guys' home inspector uh, today. So I already went over uh, everything, like the summary with your wife. Um, so I'll just get started with, you know, the exterior, kind of like the way I did my inspection. I'll go exterior, um, like roof, pool, and move uh, and go over the details with the interior. So exterior, uh, stucco, um, and pretty much like all the concrete around the home, good shape. Stucco, you did see uh, signs where they did some patching, uh, but the work was done correct and it doesn't seem like you're gonna get any, any, any moisture like protruding from the exterior to the interior of the home. It, all the work that they did on the outside is great. So next I'll move on to the wood trim and like the eaves of the home. Uh, they, it looks like they did a termite inspection like just a couple days ago. Um, and I'm sure you guys will get uh, a hold of it, but just one little area maybe, um, but look for more detail um, on the report. Just here, like on the X. Yeah, right outside, yeah, right outside, right outside the back door. Mm -hmm. I'll kind of show you, there's one little spot. It's yeah. just in the eave. Yeah, it's just right here at the bottom that might you know need some fixing but everything else here seemed okay it's just this one yeah. section here but the gutters are doing their job uh everything else around the home is in good shape so kudos to the home <laughs> home wondering right now for taking care of your guys future home you know um roof there was a couple of well you know there's chip tiles chip tiles are perfectly normal uh, with the age of the home a uh, couple of old crack tiles um, which they did patching on so they have maintained um, you know the roof over the years uh, just one section where they and you'll see it on my report I'll have pictures um, where a tile probably broke or uh, or it was removed and they covered it with um, like a rolled material which is like a temporary fix um, but for this home, it's on a concrete tile, so this should it should have just been replaced with a concrete tile, right? And okay. kind of fastened down. Um, that's just the only one um, fix that needs to be done. And okay. Yeah, before it starts raining. And so everything. maybe a roof certification. Roof have certification. Somebody come in here and look at it and replace those few that are cracked. Yeah. We did the same thing on um, on his uh, mom's home. Yeah, so, the yeah. roof cert um, would definitely, you know one save you guys money like over time mm -hmm. um but just have the home ready you know to live in for the next good couple years yeah right? definitely yeah so, so we could ask them for that mm -hmm. okay. yeah uh pool uh pool itself structure structural wise good shape you do see some chipping on the surface um but that comes with age right i didn't uh, I didn't see any like significant cracks, not in the tile, separation from the coping or the decking. Good shape. Uh, you do see some wear and tear where you see the cracking on like the sealant in between, but at just normal age, right? Um, just doing maintenance on it over time and getting that sealed up. Uh, plumbing equipment, uh, one leak, uh, but two areas um, that are connected to the filter uh, that have some corrosion and just needs to get need to get cleaned up um, and pretty much resealed so that it doesn't leak right uh, one area is leaking the other one just needs to be cleaned and sealed and you'll be fine heater um, heater filter is older equipment but it should last you years to come so uh, you, you will see corrosion in my pictures that I put on there um, just because the slab is is making contact with the soil and the soil is making contact with um, that heater uh, and that's natural you're gonna get oxidation when you have water and soil you know on the equipment uh, but it's not actually getting into the equipment within the heater so that's fine I just recommend uh, going in there and removing all that soil and um, just keeping that area dry you know so it doesn't corrode any further uh, moving on to the interior 
the only thing that I um, that I pointed out um, in the master's bedroom, the bathroom, was just the underneath the sink. It's the drain, the pee trap. Just the connection uh, from the sink to the trap. Uh, I went and tightened it up uh, during my inspection, um, but it still looks like dripping some water so maybe it's just the gasket in between uh, that needs to get replaced and then just resealed and that should you know fix it up fairly quickly um, garage uh, I touched on a fire door um, it's not closing all the way um, you only need one the other two should be fine the way they are it's the fire door that connects from there's this like attachment room to the laundry room that's the fire door it just needs to make either the self closer needs to get um, replaced or um, what do you call it replaced or um, uh, oh, why am I forgetting the word <laughs> uh, adjusted? adjusted there you go <laughs> it just needs to get adjusted or replaced and um, that door should close so and that's the one from the laundry room into the house into the hallway or... Yeah, the laundry room. So you go into the hallway. It's the next door. Okay, so the laundry room mm -hmm. into the single car garage or the two? Into that little room, that little space in between. Okay, so the laundry room into yeah, the... Yeah, Okay. There's like that in between space. You got it. So yeah. laundry... Yeah, the other two doors um, should be fine. Okay. Yeah. I checked the uh, the drywall it's to see if it was the... storage room. Yeah, a little okay. storage room. Check to see if the drywall was the 5 eighths and it is, so... Okay, good. so it's yeah. fire... Fire, fire yeah, break. fire rated. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not closing all the way, huh? Yeah, just not closing all the way. So it's just like the self closer that's. Yeah, more than likely it's just older. Okay. And it just needs to be either you can adjust it, but it's honestly just best to get a new one. Okay. Yeah. Um, fire, uh, fire clamp for the fireplace. Um, just simple fix. Um, it's just so that the damper door in the fireplace just doesn't close up permanently so fireplace damper clip that comes up on like yeah, every, inspection. every inspection yeah <laughs> every inspection so super common um and shower closure doors um owner said she removed them but i'll just put on my report as you know um, yeah. missing but she says that they're gonna reinstall them yeah she said she put them back she'll in. put them back but all in all that's you know everything that i was able to see um everything else is going to be noted on my report even to like the smallest detail um, and recommendations um, but home overall in great great shape they took care of it so um, if you have any questions in the future uh, your wife has my card your agent has my card um, feel free to contact me I'm always in the area so if you guys need me to come come by swing by and explain anything to you guys or help you out in any way I'm here Cool. Well, thank you. All right. Thanks, Jose. Yeah.